For many people, a love of reading was first born with The Little House on the Prairie, series of books. As kids, it was easy to get caught up in the tales of Laura Ingalls Wilder, who survived wildfires, tornadoes, and blizzards on Upper Plains. Only it might surprise you to hear now that those stories were largely exaggerated, and the true tale of Laura Ingalls Wilder can be found in the book selected for this year's One Book Siouxland event. Here to tell us more about it is Jane Taylor with Siouxland Libraries. Welcome back, Jane. Hello. So tell us a little bit more about what One Book Siouxland is. So One Book Siouxland is the opportunity for the entire community to read one title. Um, the library has put together programming and such, but we pick a title using community members. We have two teams that select the title, and then once they've selected the title, we promote that title, do events around that title, hoping people will read, discuss, listen, and learn. So why does the library do this program? It's for community well-being, actually. Uh, part of um, being well is reading. It's, they've done studies on it, and so we want to promote reading throughout the entire community. And why is it beneficial for the community to bond and discuss the book together as one? When you make those connections with somebody, you and I have talked about books outside of here. I mean, we're like, oh, that was a really good book. Those connections really help you um, connect with the person, connect with um, a, a group of people, and as you meet, you'll find out more things about each other. So let's talk about the book that is chosen for this year's One Book Sulin. Tell us a little bit about Prairie Fires. Um, 2019, uh, we chose Prairie Fires. Prairie Fires is about how the Laura Ingalls Wilder books um, Little House on the Prairie series really came to be. Um, the author goes back into Laura's life, her parents' life, um, what was really what really happened to the Ingalls family, um, what was probably promoted a little bit differently in the books, how Laura and her um, daughter wrote these books together in a way. Um, her daughter really was the push for her to write these books. And, um, and then after the fact, once they're written, how Laura Ingalls Wilder's life changed and, uh, and yeah, just what happened in real life. So how do you decide on which book you're going to choose? Um, I have a set of two teams. One's an advisory team. They read like 20 to 25 books and they call those books down to three titles and our selection team reads those three titles and chooses off of those three. So it's a long process. It's about four or five months to choose, choose books. We're in the middle of choosing the 2020 title, so as we go forward, we'll be choosing another title for next year. And last year, we participated in this mm -hmm. as well. We, it was a man called Uwe, yeah. and we did that on the Kellen Living Book Club as well. Yes. So these are very different books. <laughs> Why is different. diversity so important? Um, the teams this year really felt, last year was a fiction book. And it was a little bit lighter read. It was a wonderful read. It really was a great kickoff to our one book programs. But this one had such connections to our area that they thought it would be excellent discussion. There's things about farming. There's things Native American um, wars in Minnesota to talk about. There's um, Laura and her daughter's um, relationship to talk about. So it was just with a different aspect of the whole, whole um, discussion thoughts. So when reading the book, what advice do you have going through it? Because there's some online discussions that people can do, and how often will these be? We'll have weekly online discussions on Facebook. So uh, visit our website, um, and you can actually our Facebook page, and you can put an interest in each one of those, and of course it will pop up that you have this event coming up. So that's how we suggest you uh, sign up for the virtual. Um, but we do have book discussions in all the libraries too. So watch for those. Those are listed on our website. The programming that we have, um, we're doing a quilting program with uh, an author that wrote uh, about South Dakota quilting, and that will be, she'll be doing a presentation on quilting, but then after the fact, if you have a quilt that you would like her to look at, she could like date it for you by what materials are in it. Wow. So sign up online for those. Um, she can take so many for that program. So that's kind of an interesting aspect. So if you have a grandmother's quilt that you don't know when it was made, it would be kind of fun. Uh, we are doing um, lessons about the Dust Bowl because the Dust Bowl plays a big part. We're doing Cook the Book with, these, um, with the title. So we have a Laura Ingalls Wilder cookbook, and then she's doing a new Prairie Kitchen cookbook. So we're going to combine those two, what, the old way and the new way, Prairie, prairie Cooking. So that will be fun. Um, but it's not just adults. We'll have, um, we have children's programs. We're going to do a little house 
in the Big Woods book discussion for uh, parents and their kids um, toward the end of the month. So if you want to discuss that first book in the series, that would be fun to maybe re revisit as an adult and take your child and, vis and uh, make that connection together. So why is it important for the library to include events that the whole family can enjoy? I think this particular book is very conducive to that. Since we as children probably read the Little House books, bringing our children up into that and having that really good discussion about how she treated Native Americans, what's good about the books, what's you know not so great about the books. We also have decided to do a K through five program. We have Kids Create and Kids Discover. We have a whole series about they're gonna make butter and they're gonna learn how to make toys that Laura Ingalls Wilder would have played with. We also have Donald Montaloo who's gonna come and do an art program with Native American art for the K to five group. So we're really excited about that too. So all ages. So readers who are Laura Ingalls Wilder fans and mm -hmm. read those books growing up, what do you think they're going to find most surprising about this book? I think they're going to be surprised at how, not not true, but how much the books left out. You know, they left out lots of hardships that, you know, they didn't think children could handle. So that's why they wrote them that way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And also the author's coming. Don't forget that. Yes, yes. that is an important <laughs> note. That'll be really exciting to hear from her. Well, thank you so much, Jane, for joining us today. And you did mention a lot of events, but yes, we will have a link so on the Kelloland Living page at <laughs> kelloland.com so you can go and see the entire list mm -hmm. and decide what you want to do. So thank you so much. Thank you.